Today is the FATA Cup and the FATA Cup is part of the FIFA Forward program. This is part of a wider program in which we are supporting new volunteers from faith-based organisations. So London and Middlesex FA in partnership with us at the FA have put together an, an intermadrasa tournament where under 10s, 12s and 14 from mosques in around London and Middlesex have come to play football for the first time. We recognised very quickly that the Muslim community was very underrepresented and as part of London FA's commitment to the Racial Equality Action Plan, we wanted to ensure that the South Asian community and the Muslim community were represented as part of coaches, volunteers and the football workforce. The mosques that we've been involved with have developed teams to bring these children here today. Those teams did not exist three months ago, which is a testament to this project. There's around about two and a half thousand mosques in the UK, and we realise that there's around about 300,000 young children coming to these institutions every week. We went out to faith-based organisations, mosque-based leaders came together and said, this is the state that our mosque is in, these are strategic objectives, and this is what we want to offer for young people, and we basically created this offer. You've got this phenomenal intergeneration thing as well, so you've got grandparents here who are coming to see their grandchildren play. This is really their first taste of grassroots football. If we never give people that first time experience, they never know you know, how they can access it or what the gateways are or what the opportunities are. It just kind of shows so much that you can do in the community when you just put a couple of ideas together and everyone follows up on it. And I think it's brilliant how everyone's come together in, in the footballing world. There's not many South Asian players out there and I feel like with the talent going forward, this is brilliant opportunity to give them that platform and the pathway. We're trying to get away from the culture that unless you are committed to a football club for 10 hours a week for 20 years at a time then you're not worth our time. We're trying to move away from that culture because ultimately that will mean we get more people in the game and a game that functions much better. So becoming FA affiliated, getting all the teams and all the players on the FA portal now basically means that you know the masjid itself and all the other masjids are FA affiliated. So now that the groundwork is done, thanks to the FA and FA for Associates for assisting with that, the children can enjoy more projects like this going forward. Without FIFA support and without the FA support, essentially this, this project at this scale wouldn't be able to happen. But also I think the significance of having the massive global brands, you can go around the world and you can say FIFA and people know it's so much easier to break down those walls and really engage with hard to reach communities. We know that it's not hard to reach communities, essentially it's just communities that haven't been engaged with in the right way. Young players that want to come through, if they can see that the volunteers look and sound and have the same motivations as they do, it makes for a better game. We recognise the power of football, not only playing football but volunteering in football. Football wouldn't happen without volunteers, it, it's that black and white. Being a, a really good volunteer is being committed, being passionate. Just the passion that you get from them because they love the game, they love the helping people become better footballers, but a lot of it is also helping them become better people. The next step for us is these mosques to go away from here and we either want them to affiliate as their own club and then establish the roles within volunteering. It's then a matter of really playing on the success of this. I mean, you just have to look at how many people are involved. It has been game changing not only for football in London and Middlesex, but for um, their mosque communities as well.